This is Wade with High Tech Legion, and we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte OC Guru 2 software that they bundle with their video cards. In this case, we're going to be tweaking the Gigabyte GTX 660 Wind Force Overclocked Edition. And as you can see, the interface of the software is pretty simple here and easy to understand. We've got five profiles that we can put different settings in. A button here that allows us to lock the settings so you can't accidentally change them. The apply button for when you do make changes, you have to apply the changes, otherwise they don't take effect. Cancel button. And a button to set the, the profile back to defaults. You do have to hit default and then apply to make the settings take effect. Here we have monitoring, which shows us our current GPU uh, core clock speed and memory clock speed. We can see that right now they're down clocked because there's no load on the GPU. Here, this is where you would set the GPU clock. In this case, it's in overclocked card, so the base clock is 1032 and the boost clock is 1097 from the standard 980 and 1033 megahertz. The memory clock is next over and is set to 6008 megahertz and then here we have the fan speed settings and the mode that the fans is set in. In the middle is the minimum voltage that the card will run at when it's under load. Over on the right middle we have our power target which we can set up to 110% for this card and what that will allow the card to do is boost to a little bit of a higher level as long as it stays within the power target. Here we have the settings for the overlay system display and it tells you right on the square where it's going to show up and what the hotkey is. And this section right here, if we click on it, you can check for an updated BIOS, updated driver, updated OC Guru software, get information, email support, or ask questions. This is just a pretty picture of the eye that is so typical of Gigabyte. If we click on the settings for the overlay system display, we can change the location of the on-screen display, change the hotkey that brings up the display, change the hotkey for taking a screenshot, and change the folder where the logging will go or screenshots will go. We also have some sliders here that we can adjust the look of the screen. And we'll click this button to go back here. And under fan, if we go to settings, we can change it to a manual fan profile and drag these sliders up and down however we like and then click apply to change the fan speeds. Most people will be able to run it on auto without any issue. In fact, I'm going to go back to auto myself. And then over here, if under the monitoring section, if we press more, we get a pop-out which shows us graphs of the GPU clock, memory clock, GPU voltage, fan speed, and GPU temperature. The memory voltage is not shown in this driver version. We can see right now we've got a pretty flat line because there's no load on, on the GPU. And in the top left corner of each one of these boxes it gives you the actual number um, as well. I've already set a profile with an overclock for this card and so I'm going to click on 2 here and you can see that I overclocked it 65 megahertz for the base which also pushes the boost clock up and the memory clock was pushed 100 megahertz with the power target up to the 110 percent. I was able to leave the minimum voltage alone and the fan speed on auto. If we apply these settings move this out of the way I'm going to run 3D Mark 11 just to show you that it's working. We're going to run Graphics S2 in a loop at 1920 
by 1080 and in windowed mode so that we can pull up the graphs and you can see how those work. In just a moment it should load and we should see these graphs change a little bit. Also right here we have this pause and record button. If you click the record button the software will make a log file with all the settings every few seconds um, so you can really see where things go. As our graphics test loads, you can see that the GPU clock has jumped to 1175 megahertz, which is actually past the boost clock because there's a little bit more headroom in the power target there and our memory clock is running at 6108. Our fan speed is fairly low still 44-45% but the card is still heating up. So we've hit 48% fan speed, and the GPU has climbed to 49 to, 50, 49 to 50 degrees C, which really is pretty cool considering how much load we're putting on it. I'm going to close 3D Mark here actually, and show you Unigen. Unigen actually puts even more stress on the GPU, so we're going to run that with normal tessellation, 16 anisotropy, and 4 times anti-aliasing in windowed mode by unchecking the full screen. Again, so we can bring up the graphs and you can see them change. start the benchmark bring up the graphs so you bring up the graphs so you can see our GPU clock again has topped out at 1175 megahertz and the memory clock down to 60 or up to 6108 megahertz now if you can get through Unigen, typically your overclock is fairly stable. And that's the OC Guru 2 software from Gigabyte. For the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com.